Hi guys, it's you know uh, Thursday at this point still. Yeah, it's still Thursday. Um, it's the end of the first week of college, so that's going well. I don't know if I've up uploaded a video in quite a while. I apologize about that. I'm gonna need to start getting better at that. I think I'll start trying to do like one video every couple of weeks, hopefully. Um. So my classes are going good, as I said. I have uh, three classes on Thursday. Uh, one's uh, Beatles Musical Revolution, and then one's the History of Ireland, and the other one's uh, the Irish uh, a course on Irish drama. And one of the things that we had to do for the Irish drama course was define what it means to be Irish. I have no idea. I have no idea what it means to be Irish. Right. Actually, you no, know, I listed a bunch of, you know, stereotypical things that everyone hates. You know, Guinness, Darby O'Gill, the little people. I thought I had, you know. Never mind. Uh, green. Don't understand what that green thing comes from. I mean, it's not even a great color. Yeah, so I'm now going to do the thing where, you know, drink every time you say something hypocritical. Uh, one of the things that they mentioned was, you know, a love of potato. Still don't understand that one. I mean, it's not like when I was a kid, when I was like a two-year-old. Um, I went to see Santa. I wasn't two years old. I was me. I was about a year old at that point. Year thirteen months, something like that. I don't think I was a month old. Although that'd be an interesting story. Whereupon I was apparently yelling sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. There we go. Yep. I was actually discussing this with uh, the checkout clerk at the at my grocery store. I say gro grocery store. It's like a mini mart with a bit more stuff. And then while she's checking me out, she sees this thing, this thing of potato bread, and then she sees the this. No, uh, the professor said the only people who it seems to be commonly accept acceptable to make fun of in terms of, like, origin are the Irish and the Italians. I thought about arguing with that for a moment, then I realized something. I lived in West Virginia, and I, like, love to make fun of them. So... Right? Uh... Sorry. It was an email from a person... It's an email from actually the person who teaches the drama section of that. I'm having her write an e write a write letter of recommendation for, her, for a summer internship. I'm not going to say where in case they're watching. I mean, let me be clear, I am old enough for this, finally. And, you know, there's that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, he mentioned, you know, the Irish are very, uh, apparent, apparently, really love to walk a lot. And they're very socially, social justice-minded. Right? Actually, I was going to argue with him, saying, you know, hey, I do all of these things. Of course, I was also wearing my green jacket, so I, you know, didn't. Actually, I was really proud of myself. Managed to make, managed to, you know, put the clerical abuse into, like, a decent light. Much better than, you know, my 
the person sitting next to me who was like, well, just watch Valley Kiss Angel. Uh, one of the things he uh, is mentioned in, I think, either the first or the second episode is. I oh, crap, I can't remember. Oh well. It made, it made a joke about, you know, clerical abuse. Oh, let me be clear, I didn't, I don't abuse anyone, it's just, you know, don't want to think about that. Uh... No, actually, when going back to what I said earlier, uh, the guy said, you know, I just love to walk everywhere. I was like, oh. yeah, he said that they'd think not nothing about, like, walking four miles one way. I thought about this, and then I'm like, you know, I need to go to the Archdiocese office. And then I'm like, and how far is that exactly? That's only like maybe like six to eight miles. That's a good walking distance. Yeah, that's all I got. See you later.